To become a legend in the UFC, a fighter needs someone to push him to be great. McGregor had Diaz, Jones had Cormier, and Silva had Sonnen. Each series didn't just pit the best against the best, but it matched up rivals that had personal scores to settle. And when the octagon door shut, the bad blood reached a boiling point. Who will be the one to step up and put this feud to rest? Or give up bragging rights once and for all? Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. As I walk through the valley with my ladder and flex, I'm the realest one that's in it, I just have a new crack. When they all thought we was finished, they was laughing at that. So I went and brought me in. All right, so here he is, folks. This fighter has been all the rage of late, but tonight what stands in front of him, a legitimate rivalry fight. He's been talking a lot of smack here during fight week. He does not like his opponent, and the same can be said reciprocally. His opponent doesn't like him either. Tonight, they close the octagon door behind him. This guy is an outstanding striker. What he wants to do is use his defense to keep the fight standing, use the takedown defense and a good solid sprawl, and if he does go to the ground, make sure he gets back up and punishes his opponent. All right, talented fighter making the walk here tonight. I will be surprised, Joe, if we see him put on his back at any point tonight. Incredible takedown defense, great balance, very solid base, an outstanding sprawl that's very quick and athletic. And for a lot of fighters, they waste a lot of energy trying to bring this man down. Got to think the smart approach will be to see if you can get the shot early, but if it doesn't materialize, go to plan B. This guy's takedown defense north of 90%. Some of the best takedown artists in the world have failed to take him down. This guy has some of the best takedown defense we've ever seen in. Our tail of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they both possess the same height and a similar reach. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 10 wins, two losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, the Nightman. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of. 33 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Temecula, California, smiling, Sam Alvey. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki draws the assignment here. Here you go, first round, you ready? You ready? And we are underway at the Mecca, Madison Square Garden in New York City. All right, so here we go. Round one is underway of this rivalry fight here tonight. Perhaps there will be a little bit of a feeling out process here. Both guys were trying to put the emotions out of the equation here tonight. But it is rival versus rival under the lights here tonight. Smiling Sam Alvey gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Well, he moved right into that straight punch, Joe. Left the body wide open, and his opponent wisely took advantage. Let's see if he adjusts here moving forward. Just misses there with the left. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Good combination so far from both men. Splits the guard and connects with the punch. Oh, he gets tagged there. Nice combination to the head. Able to land. The body there with the left kick. Don't stop, don't stop. 
just out of range with the straight left hand. Hit him with the Superman punch. Alvy going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Look at that, right to the temple. Alvy's shot is blocked. And oh, the left leg goes high. Nice. Oh. Very impressive. Big shot there. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Hurt him with that Superman punch. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh! Alvin gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Nice defense there, huge block. That punch will work right through the guard. Oh, he just missed with that straight left hand, Joe. There's a left hand. Oh, man, that cut looks terrible. Oh, he, oh, he might be out. Nice left to the body. And what a round! Stop! All right, let's take a look at some of the action here. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. Really excellent striking being displayed in that round. All right, round two. Starting off this round, you've got to think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's going to want to move and avoid taking damage early. How about that shin? Big elbow. Some real power shots here. Slightly deflected. Oh! We show you the total strikes. That one hurt. Oh, right hand is there for him, Joe. Look at this. Jab. Well, Joey seems to have his opponent's timing down. He has landed some good shots, but nothing really in terms of multi-shot combinations, and perhaps that's why his opponent's still standing. So perhaps at this point, he could change up the power with which he throws some of these strikes, maybe alter the tempo a little bit, and try to... Big to the head, he's stunned! Now he's wobbling. Another shot, he's in trouble. And he got the victory from ruthless, brutal ground and pound. Yeah, Joe, that was some throwback style ground and pound. He was trying to pound his opponent's head through the damn canvas. He wasn't looking to score there. He was looking to land big shots and get his opponent out of there. Well, mission accomplished on that. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 22 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the night man. All right, so the celebration is on in the corner, and he has certainly earned it after coming through and coming up large in this rivalry fight here tonight. He wanted this one in the worst way, and man, did he seize the spotlight here in this one.